Hey, you can see that this uh, cast iron hand wheel is not going to come off by itself. So I'm applying a little bit of heat to the hub here. <laughs> and I've got a, a puller, a bearing uh, extracting tool. And a couple pieces of steel on top to uh, hopefully not break this little hand wheel. And besides, where you been? I needed someone to hold the punch when I knocked out the taper pen. I smashed my hand twice. At least the taper pen came out easy. Those often don't cooperate. I'm kind of concentrating the heat in this one spot here just to try to get it to expand. I see the paint starting to smoke. Let's give it a try. See if we can get that off. And if it don't come off, I'm going to let it sit, put some beeswax on it. I want to do everything but break it. Now watch me break it. What's it doing? Try the open end. It's coming off. Colors bottom me out in there. What? Oh, I, I've lost uh, travel on the polar. Let's see if that would tap it loose on. I think it's coming, dude. I don't know. Maybe if I. Uh, Snuck this up some. Well, I'll have to get another bite on the polar. I'll go find some stuff to do that. I found an old uh, proto. 3 8 drive, 7 16 socket that's got a crack on it. <laughs> so we'll use that. I'll put the crack down. Should fit that point. Let's see if we can't get this the rest of the way off. Always use the right tool for the job, right? The snap on puller here I got. Uh, I bought it in the mid 70s and it's never fit very many things, but it happens to fit this and I'm just thrilled. I almost got this off too. And it's going to be a little bit hot. Yeah. It's just a good idea not to break these uh, hand wheels. Because <laughs> then you can fix them. All right. Almost. That's going to... It's been on there over 80 years, so... you got to be patient. They're sitting in the weather for a long time. Okay. Let's see if we can... Okay, I ran out of polar again. But we must be close. 
Let's get it coming. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. Now this side. Well, it's hanging up. I'll find a longer socket. Be right back. Huh. Okay. Now I got a, a, a deep wall socket here. <laughs> we got to be getting close. If this was real tight, I'd use uh, a piece of steel with a center in it. But it's not real tight. I think it'll just come loose with hand pressure. Maybe. No, it's going to take a wrench. But I got I got enough to uh, get it all the way off. I'm sure. It's cooling down and kind of sweating on there again. I think we're close. That's it. <laughs> okay. Let's look at it. That's quite a conglomeration to get that off, isn't it? Got this bearing splitter in there, and that's kind of hot. There we go. Let me get this uh, puller loose. These things are handy, especially a little one like that right here. I got a set of these. Okay. And there's the hand wheel. That's a nice one too, and I can really get that cleaned up. So, what we're looking at now is uh, pulling that off. And I'll go ahead and uh, Pull that off and probably pull the cover off this again and put the cover back on because it's kind of cloudy. We'll see how it goes. Hope you're all having a good day. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I get this uh, cap loose here and there's a bunch of water and oil in there. This uh, got water in it at the scrap yard and some of the residual was caught in here there's like a a seal regular cr chicago rawhide seal there and i can see a bearing here and it looks like this is retained with a, a double lock nut that's a hook spanner which is kind of odd so i will try to get that off and it would really be nice it looks like a lot's got to come apart because i just don't think that bearing's going to drop out of there but we shall see more coming soon <laughs> okay <laughs> all rained out here but there's always something to do inside so let's go inside okay i got that uh, block in there and i'm kind of experimenting around um, drilling holes and I, I punched a couple holes in this piece of aluminum already and i thought i'd show you how nice it does it so i'll get that in there Don't hold close to the end of it, huh? Okay. Now, <laughs> this drill bit's not an expensive one. It's a little bit uh, crooked. Let's see if we can get a straight hole down there. Let's come around this way. I think you can see right there and I'm just going to touch it. I'm not using a center drill or anything. See that? The bit actually straightened out if you do barely touch it.
I'm going to be intersecting some holes here. Well, no, I think I'm going off to the side of them, actually. There we go, all the way through. Isn't that slick? Very handy. Now, I made that block here to help clamp, and it's really working. I got this one working right on the table, but then I got this one working on that bl uh, block, avoiding that webbing underneath there. It's, it's just fantastic. I was asked about this old Walker Turner, and I'll show the badge on it. Model number is left blank, but the serial number is a 12 dash, so it's a 1200 series, I guess. Light, heavyweight, wind, division of Rockwell. One time Kearney Trekker on this. Okay.